Welcome to the introduction to basic operations of the new Broderson MG6 LMI system, which replaces the MG5 LMI system. This video is to provide you with the basic setup and operational procedures for the new Greer MG6 LMI system on your Broderson crane. The Greer LMI system with MG6 computer and insight display is an aid to crane operations. It will be referred to as the system throughout the video. Do not use this system without a properly trained operator. The operator must be knowledgeable in safety guidelines, crane capacity information, and Broderson manufacturing specifications. This training video is not all inclusive and it is important to read, understand, and follow the content and instructions contained in the Greer manual prior to operations. The system is an aid to crane operations. Crane functions are monitored by a variety of sensors. The system compares the load suspended below the boom head to the crane capacity charge stored within the computer's memory. At approach to overload, the system sends an audible and visual warning signal. The system is configured to cause function kickout by interrupting a signal to the dump valve. The system is designed to calculate and display the rated capacity or max capacity in the crane's current configuration, the indicated load showing the total load including slings and rigging suspended below the lifting point, the load radius showing the current radius of the load, the boom angle showing the current angle of the main boom in degrees relative to horizontal, the main boom length showing the current length of the main boom, a bar graph showing the indicated load as a percentage of the rated capacity of the current configuration of the machine, and warns of approaching overloads for each crane configuration. A pre-warning indicator that turns yellow and notifies the operator when there is a pre-alarm for a load at 90% of the rated capacity. A overload or fault indicator that turns red and notifies the operator when there is an overload or fault and will stop certain boom motions when the crane is in overload. And an A to B indicator that turns red and notifies the operator when the crane has been too blocked. The new MG6 functions in the same manner as the MG5, whereas the two block system and the overload dump features are the same. Functions that are dumped are boom down, swing, telescope out, and hoist up. The buttons on the side of the display are for making your selections on the various pages. Main menu button opens the main menu, giving access to the configuration, info, brightness, calibration, and legacy menus. Configuration button brings up the page that displays your current configuration. The cancel alarm button is used to cancel or silence the audible alarm. The fault code button is used to display fault codes if any are present. If the system has any internal faults, the fault code indicator exclamation point will turn red. Immediately following the system power up, the system performs a self test which verifies that the computer, display, console, cables and sensors are all working properly. The test lasts approximately 10 seconds. During this time, the crane's motions are disabled by the system function kickout. When the display shows the following warning message, read it and press the lower right button to continue to the crane configuration page. The crane configuration defines the physical setup of the crane. The system setup defines the load parameters for each crane configuration. Configuration selection is required upon the system power up and can be changed anytime there is a change to the physical configuration of the crane. Warning: The operator must select the correct crane configuration for each setup configuration change. Inaccurate or non-selection of the appropriate configuration will result in incorrect calculations and readings of the indicated load weight and percent of the rated capacity. Upon system power up, you will begin your crane configuration setup. The first page is titled Chassis. The current configuration option is highlighted with a white border. To select a chassis option, press the button next to the option or press OK to select the option that is highlighted with the white border. Once a selection is made, the screen will proceed to the next page. Erect Attachment. The current configuration option is highlighted with a white border. To select the Erect Attachment option, press the button next to the option or press OK to select the option that is highlighted with a white border. Once the selection is made, the screen will proceed to the next page. Stowed Attachment. The current configuration option is highlighted with a white border. To select a stowed attachment option, press the button next to the option or press OK to select the option that is highlighted with the white border. Once the selection is made, the screen will proceed to the next page. Note. 
If no stowed attachment options are available, this page will not appear and will skip to the next available page. Parts of line. The current number of parts of line is displayed in the middle of the page. To change the parts of line, press the plus or minus button until the correct number is reached. Then press OK or Next. The system will exit the configuration menu and proceed to the home screen at which time operations can begin. Note. If an erect jib or searcher hook is selected, the parts of line selection phase will be skipped and the parts of line will automatically be set to 1. The configuration selection can be changed at any time by accessing the configuration button from the home page or can also be accessed by pressing the main menu button and selecting configuration. The configuration menu displays the current setup of the system for chassis, erect jib, stowed jib, parts of line, and duty, which displays the setup code for the current configuration. To change the current configuration, press the edit button to edit the configuration. Press back to return to the previous page or X to exit to the home page. Note, if the system is being configured for the first time after power up or entering normal operating mode from another mode, the system will not show the current configuration page and will proceed to the first available configuration selection page. Broderson cranes are equipped with an LMI system override key switch. If the boom is fully raised, about 70 degrees, the LMI system may show an overload condition due to high pressure in the boom lift cylinder and is sensed to be an overload. To correct this condition, the override key may be turned and held while the boom is lowered just slightly then check for other conditions before lowering further. If there is a malfunction of the RCL or anti 2 block system that causes loss of boom movement and cannot be remedied by procedures listed in the operations manual, the override key switch may be required to move the boom. Warning, Broderson recommends the emergency override switch be used with discretion. Improper or careless use of this switch can cause damage to the crane and endanger people and property. The operator who uses the switch in an emergency should use good judgment. This video was produced for the purpose of general overview of the new MG6 LMI system and does not qualify a person to be a crane operator. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. 